Well, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll give it a few minutes before uh, we make our start, but this is the start of a great webinar series where we'll go over the different parts of the uh, solution stack of Proofpoint. As I said, we'll just give it a few minutes first and uh, just for everybody to jump on. We'll give it about one more minute and then we'll make a start. Thanks, but thanks for your patience. All right, this sounds uh, and this looks to be as good of a time as any to start. So welcome. My name is Brett Lee Price. I am the Cloud Security Vendor Manager over Ingram Micro. Uh, today we'll be going into and start, um, basically starting off our journey of Proofpoint webinars, which is part of the Ingram and Proofpoint All-Stars program. And so the very first one is the people-centric starting point. And the reason why we've called it a starting point and people-centric is it really fits into uh, really the tagline and the strategy and how Proofpoint approaches security. And so what the, this is going to be the starting point in basically giving the foundation of what Proofpoint does, as well as the different parts of the solution stack that Proofpoint offers. And so if we can go to the next slide, There'll be a bunch of different webinars coming up. I'm just waiting for the slides to move. There we are. Uh, and so we've got the first one, which is today, which is the people-centric starting point, but then we've got three others which are planned out throughout the rest of the year. One touching on a new essentials bundle, which is a, a bun an email security bundle, really uh, designed for, the, uh, for those within the SMB space, as well as, as in October, we'll be doing one on security awareness training, as well as one in December on email security. Uh, now, being part of the All Stars program, it means that there's some extra benefits relate, relating to that. So, if you're on the call and uh, you know have registered, and obviously now you're on and attending, you'll actually end up getting 15,000 uh, points uh, for uh, actually doing so if you're part of the Pro League uh, part of that program. However, for all people who have jumped on, you're also in the running and, and you have an opportunity to win some swag. So there's going to be a bunch of different merchandise that you can actually win. And so stay on the line. There'll be some questions at the end for a, a application that some of you might have heard of before called Kahoot. Um, if you haven't heard of Kahoot already, already then can you please um, take my advice here, grab your phone or one of your phones, regardless of what it is, and go to the Google Play Store or go to the Apple's, uh, Apple Store, find the program or application called Kahoot. So when we get up to that towards the end, you'll be able to go and easily go uh, up and get prepared to actually start competing to win some items. Now, uh, with that as, as well, you'll see on the screen that um, that there's also a deal registration program, which is part of the All Stars program. So you should look at this being a very much an uh, educational piece and so you can learn more about Proofpoint and the different solutions that they offer so that you can actually work on how you can best leverage uh, leverage the deal registration program currently on offer and go get opportunities and, and win big basically. And so uh, if we can move to the next slide. Whenever it moves, there we are. Uh, you'll see that uh, with, with me is uh, both Marash and Jassy from Proofpoint. I'm going to go pass it to Marash so he can take it from here. Thanks, Marash.
Thanks, Brad. I appreciate it. I think Jesse is just clicking on the slide. Um, thank you, guys. Welcome to the webinar. I'm looking forward to hosting you with Jesse and Brad today. So today's sessions mainly focus around the people-centric side of things, where which uh, Brett spoke about earlier on. So we're going to start off with talking about the current trends in IT security, and what's happening out there in the world currently. We'll talk through about the present-day threat landscape, how threats have changed from what it used to be back in the days. Then we talk about people-centric security, why we need to focus towards the people and not purely on the network side of things. We'll touch more about, about Proofpoint and talk about to more details about our company. And we'll also share the product portfolio that we have. You'd have seen the invitation emails which comes through asking, do you know Proofpoint does much more than email security? So this is the introduction towards all our products on this uh, particular web webinar. And we'll uh, finish off touching a bit about uh, our partner program and what we can do with partners and how we can help our partners to make uh, revenue and GP. Uh, we will uh, finish off with Q&A um, at the end. Um, so with Q&A, please feel free to add in any questions you have as we go on the chat uh, um, on the webinar itself. And we'll answer those questions at the end, just about con taking consideration of the time that we have today. And then finally, we have the most interesting piece about the Kahoot, where all you guys could end up winning a lot of swag from our end and from Ingram. So uh, without further ado, I'll pass it on to Jesse to take us through. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Miraj. Um, hi, everyone. I am Jesse Medirata. So I'm the Senior Security Channel Solutions Architect with Proofpoint. And I will go over the people-centric approach to security and how our platform can help to develop the security strategy and safeguard your users and data from external and internal threats. So let's start with the widest threat vector that the organizations are exposed to every day, and um, that is email. The Gartner data on security makes it clear that where organizations dedicate their time, their people, and money does not map to how they are targeted by attackers. So attackers consistently use email as the number one threat vector to launch attacks because it works. So the Verizon report that you see on the right hand side uh, reported 85% of the breaches start with attacks targeting people via email. Why? Because um, as I said, attackers target people. Moving on to the next slide, um, the threat landscape if, if we see has fundamentally shifted. So. For the past few years now, attacks have been targeting people, not infrastructure. So the move to the cloud is intensifying that trend. So Proofpoint takes a very people-centric approach to security. Now, how do, how do we do that? Is If we see back in the old days, we have the concept of perimeter, firewalls, and you know demilitarized zones, DMVs. I'm not saying that threat actors have completely given up on that, but they know that these days, those defenses are pretty hard and it's very difficult to get through that today. But now you also have to be considered that the current landscape um, and with the advent of the cloud, like you, you know, everyone moving to Office 365 and people working remotely because of COVID, the concept of traditional perimeter has obsolete. So your people are the new perimeters and I think you will agree that when it comes to security, your people are the weakest link. So I don't know how familiar are you with the proof points. I just want to give, give you a little background. Our heritage started with email security almost 20 years ago. So here now in 2021, we have over 20 acquisitions. And we have a complete uh, people-centric platform. We are the only cybersecurity company that takes a whole focus on your people. So um, that's what I'm going to take you through and walk you through today as what differentiates us. So as I've uh, talked about, attackers target people. They target distracted users you know, who open up the attachment or eager customers who fill in their credentials on a piece of form in return of a winning card. I might have, I have done it myself too. Or, you know, um, in return of a money. 
or even a loyal employee will fall into wiring money to a person impersonating as their CEO. So adversely, most organizations still spend their security budgets predominantly on technical defenses, you know, where they need to safeguard the number one threat vector, which we've talked about with Ina. So while defenders look at assets, the attackers focuses on your people, on your users, and more importantly, they leverage the trusted cloud services to do so. Now, if you look at the world today, attackers can easily access your LinkedIn profile, anybody can, to launch a targeted threat campaign against your organization. And attackers do not view the world in terms of a network diagram. Therefore, the best way for every organization is to discover who are the people at risk and how they represent risk to your organization. So um, some of the most common threats that I have seen in my last 20 years of career is credential phishing, account compromise, ransomware, email fraud, supply chain attacks. And also what I have seen is around 85% of the threats are coming through these threats. So the first one in line is our credential phishing, which is stealing of your of your user's ID, email addresses, and password combinations by masquerading as a reputable or known entity or person in email. Just last year, 57% of the organizations experienced a successful credential phishing attack. Now, this comes from our annual state of the fish report. Not only that, but according to the 2021 Verizon report, credentials remain one of the most sought after data types where nearly 60% of the breaches involved stolen credentials. Attackers continually shift the lures to match the themes of major events. Now we saw that they especially preyed on human vulnerability with everything related to COVID-19 from the beginning with the shutdowns to stimulus to vaccines. We expect them to continue the trend of using lures around major world events. I just recently received an email about, you know, COVID-19 email, and it says to me, you know, if you want to get vaccinated, pay for the vaccine, as I'm under 40. And that's one of the loops that's been going around. And a lot of people have fallen to it. And this is how easy it is to lose your credentials. So don't fall for those kind of emails. Second one in line is account compromise, which is, um, you know, is an account that is accessed by someone who is not authorized to do so, to use the account. We find that many organizations uh, are unaware of the degree of their account takeover problems because they lack visibility into their cloud accounts and apps. An ongoing trend is the abuse of the legitimate file shares using to host and deliver threats. This means that attackers are using tools like, you know, OneDrive for business, Dropbox, and other legitimate infrastructure can be SharePoint online, rather than botnets to deliver threats. Our research found that all malicious URLs delivered from the file shares, 53.7% of those were from Microsoft. In this case, you know, things like IOCs, your indicators of compromise, example, you know, um, any IP address and domains become less valuable for threat detection. But our platform is designed to catch all these attacks. While adopting multi-factor authentication starts to, you know, mitigate these risks, there are still ways to bypass the MFA. Um, I just want to highlight that. So we suspect that these attacks will continue and will become increasingly advanced as we continue to follow the follow our research. Oh, nice ransomware! It's a hot topic these days. Um, it's a type of a malicious software, a malware. So when it gets into your device, it makes your computer or your files unusable. So cyber criminals love it. They use ransomware to deny you access to your files or devices, and then they demand you pay them to get back your access. Attackers have seen, also seen that they continue to innovate on the tools and the tactics they use to launch targeted attacks. It is staggering to see how much ransomware starts in emails. So for, for enterprises, 
it is really an email problem and it's a people centric problem the ransomware is not just taking hostage of a couple of machines rather they are locking down your entire system it's a business that comes to a halt just to give you an example about the threat from the RYUK campaign that started with a targeted phishing email with an attached word document containing uh, an embedded code before a silent downloader is installed this is actually a common form of um, sandbox evasion that many security tools miss because their technology is only looking for the first click or relying heavily on your reputation check okay let's talk about email fraud so i've seen that the financial losses associated to um, email fraud continues to rise the latest fbi report shows that email fraud represents the largest financial losses in 2020 to give you a better idea of what that means the financial loss from the business email compromise was 64 times worse than ransomware now as our fraudsters become more sophisticated we are seeing more and more vc variants you know such as gift card scam payroll diversions supplier invoicing frauds and more so supplier invoicing for fraud is far the most sophisticated vc attack type and attackers often use both supplier impersonation and compromised supplier accounts jointly in the same attack. Um, at Proofpoint, we have observed and stopped supplier invoicing fraud attacks that could potentially lead to millions of dollar losses. Cool. Supply chain attack. So attackers have also turned supply chain suppliers into another attack vector. Proofpoint um, has observed that attackers leveraging compromised supplier accounts and supplier impersonation to send malware, steal credentials, and perpetrate invoicing fraud. So if you see here, 98% of the organizations have received a threat from a supplier domain. You know, threats from impersonated or compromised suppliers are more likely to lean on social engineering to prey on human nature with 74% of the threats being phishing or imposter, and less than 30% of the threats sent from supplier domains were malware related. So the result is further evidence that attackers are targeting people rather than the vulnerabilities of the infrastructure of an organization. As the attackers are getting smarter they are, as they are going, easy method to use is going through a supply chain attack. And a good example is the solar wind supply chain attack. It was just very lately. So this was a highly sophisticated identity-based supply chain attack that was executed by a, via a backdoor into a solar wind update server, likely um, aided by password spraying. So the attackers were able to bypass the multi-factor authentication, as I talked before, and move laterally within the network, posing as a regular user. Cool. So a defender's mission is to protect against these traps that are targeting people and it takes a multi-layered approach. And that multi-layered approach begins with first, which is the real-time prevention. Now, this is hard because you have to be in line and you have to be able to make the instantaneous decision. But the benefits are massive. Users don't see the threats, and by stopping millions of emails in the front door, you downstream the instrumentation, or the SOC doesn't need to deal with it, and so on. The second thing you need to do is organizations need a post-delivery remediation. So for instance, for example, um, for instance, an isolate unknown URL upon click. So this will allow your users to confidently access the website from their corporate email, knowing that the organization is secure. Now, if something goes wrong, organizations need an automated and streamlined workflow to remediate the threat before it causes any repairable damage. Now, something that goes hand in hand with education are 
user reported emails. So reanalyze the emails reported by users and extract malicious messages post delivery. The third one is proactive action. And I think it's the most important one. It is, we can also be proactive about preventing attacks through domains, authentication via DMARC or, you know, take down the malicious domains before they have a chance to act with our um, virtual takedown tech and services. Uh, it's also, I think, important is to, you need to educate your users to be part of the solution. So that's your protect, proactive action. There is another one I want to talk about, which is predictive intelligence, which is visibility into your people risk is also crucial in stopping threats. Having the right visibility is important to be able to um, accurately and effectively report the risk to the board, to your CEOs, and to the base. And it is also crucial to how you operate um, to be able to apply the right controls where they matter the most. Well, so this is why the organizations should leverage the Proofpoint Threat Protection Platform. So why? Because first, protecting against these email and cloud threats or number one threat vector is the best and the fastest way to lower the risk of breach. Second, having the right visibility is important to be able to accurately and effectively report risks to the board, to the CEO. Third, the operational benefit of this approach is especially appreciated by resource constrained teams. So SOC can spend about 40 to 60% of the time uh, on incident originating in email rather than spending time on protecting the infrastructure. Cool. So um, I'm gonna take you through um, into a deeper look into the breadth and the depth of our visibility. So Proofpoint has the most deployed solution across the Fortune 100,000 and Global 2000. No one else I have seen in my past career has the breadth of install base that we do. With that breadth of coverage, we are able to see as much of what is going on in the threat landscape every single day across multiple vectors from email to cloud to network and domain threats as well as social. This means that we have the insights into some of the most nefarious threats in every vertical, in every segment, in every geography in the world. Um, just to give you some examples, we are the market leader in email and we see around 2.2 billion plus emails a day. But more importantly, we see around 35 billion plus URLs and 200 million plus attachments. Another example is um, we have over 6,300 ID sensors in over 80 countries, from which we receive the real-time network and email telemetry to better understand the, how the attacks impact organizations today. Our global presence gives us insight into how actors target regions and help us better understand how to increase our effectiveness. Um, what really sets us apart is all this threat data is fed into the Proofpoint Nexus Threat Graph, which correlates more than a trillion threat data points from across these vectors. The Nexus Threat Graph um, then feeds that threat intel into our product to provide the protection that evolves and stays ahead of the threat landscape. And that is what makes Proofpoint different to the other vendors. Cool. So to take you through to this slide, at Proofpoint, we help you understand and gain visibility into your greatest risk, which is your people. So not just your people, but also the data that they have access to and the behaviors that indicate that they might fall for a modern social engineering attack. We introduced the concept, the idea of black, which is very attacked person, people, or vulnerability attack and privilege a couple of years ago. However, I think it's not enough to understand the risk that an individual user or a group is posing to your organization. So if you're only knowing how attacked they are. It is the classic view of uh, risk means understanding the probability of breach, you know, likelihood that, that the attacks will be successful and the impact of 
your organ um, and the impact to your organization if that person is compromised. The Nexus Risk um, Explorer will provide a unified view of cybersecurity risk that is mapped to people. So first is vulnerabilities, how your people work in high-risk ways. Attack, which is how your people are targeted by threats, whether they receive highly targeted, very sophisticated, or very high volume of attacks. Privilege is how your people access valuable data. If they access or manage sensitive systems or data, they might uh, be at a higher risk of data misuse, data loss, or leakage through a business critical system or third party apps. We also play very strongly in our broader ecosystem. So we have invested in strategic integrations with our cybersecurity leaders, um, such as Palo Alto Networks, CrowdStrike, Okta, SailPoint, CyberArk, Splunk. So this means that we can um, make, just for example, make your Palo Alto Network firewall or CrowdStrike endpoint protection even better by sharing the threat intelligence. Cool, let's move on to, this is the last slide, the important slide, this talks about our uh, products. So as you know, Proofpoint is the leader in the Gartner and we have a people-centric security platform. So let's take you through to our platform. Now the first one, if you see at the center, which is the heart, which makes user more resilient against threats with a comprehensive security awareness training program. So that is where our PSAT solution sits in. Our PSAT improves cybersecurity awareness, um, change behaviors, and reduce risk. It helps employees make the good security decisions when they face threats or malicious email. Talk about the second one, which is protection across the key people-centric threat vectors. Now, starting with email, with email gateway and our sandbox environment called TAP, which is targeted attack protection, and TRAP which is our SOAR platform, which is just right up, up here, which is Threat Response Auto Pool. Now, TRAP enables an organization to streamline the email incident response process. When a malicious email is detected, TRAP automatically removes any malicious message after it is delivered. It also moves any unwanted emails to quarantine that have reached users' inboxes. Also, the malicious and unwanted emails that may be forwarded to other individuals, departments, or DLs will also be quarantined. It's a powerful tool, and it will give you the greater uh, visibility into the threat intel. It's the baby brother of our complete threat intel product. Email isolation, which you will find it here in the corner, um, renders your sessions in a secure container to keep harmful content out of your environment. So users can view and interact with the page as normal, but the malware and the other harmful contents are removed from the page. Uploads, downloads, and input forms are disabled to prevent um, any kind of data theft and loss. And our real-time anti-phishing scan analysis the site and automatically blocks for the use of the page if it finds a threat. Uh, there is also email fraud defense that will provide you with visibility in email authentication for emails that you may send to business partners and customers and employees. And it also provides you with visibility into supply chain and look like domain. It helps and safeguard your trusted domain. There's another one here, which is the email account compromise protection, which is about a technical compromise. You know, when attackers actually become you because they have successfully taken over your account. Credential phishing is just one way that accounts are compromised but attackers are not just looking to steal credentials. Their real goal is to establish persistence and move laterally into your organization. So once they are in your account, they can do all kinds of damages to your account. So we do have the, um, the right tools to be able to protect you with email account compromise. Okay. Now, another one I wanna highlight is the, the protecting the data the people create an access with cloud security, data security, zero trust access, and insider threat management solution. Talking about the insider threat management, it, it will correlate and provide visibility into users' activity, data interaction, and user risk. It also detects data exploitation, um, 
the other uh, data exploitation can be, you know, any kind of privilege abuse or uh, application misuse, unauthorized access, risky accidental um, actions. The other one is enterprise DLP um, that will provide you with detection and response across the endpoint cloud and email stack using a standard set of policies. There's also endpoint DLP, which is part of the enterprise DLP. Um, web security at the top, which is access control DLP and threat protection using our underlying, you know, meta technologies, which is a zero trust network access to stay web traffic based on where the traffic is going or the content of the traffic, you know, we can take action. Finally, uh, we all incorporate compliance for complete enterprise risk visibility. And under that, we have capabilities like archiving that addresses your email retention compliance. We have e-discovery where you can search millions of emails and messages in seconds for any legal requirements. Supervision, um, you'll be able to just review messages from a variety of sources for audit purposes and content capture and social monitoring. Whew. So with that, I will now hand this over to Mirage to talk about the Proofpoint partnership opportunity. And over to you, Mirage. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jesse, appreciate that. Just bringing my screen back on. Let me know when you could see it. Yes, we can. Right, great. I'm um, just trying to see the screen on my end. It's interesting, sorry. All good. Um, let me just bring it back. Okay. Hi, guys. Thank you, Jesse. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to get the setup going on the background. Um, so, yeah, Jesse did talk to you about everything about Proofpoint and um, how, how we go to market, what kind of products we have and how big the opportunities are. So what I want to take the chance now is to show um, yourselves as partners, the opportunity there is to work with Proofpoint and why you should uh, spend time and effort uh, investing in, in Proofpoint. Um, the generic question I do get from most uh, partners when I go out and talk about to start off with on email security is that um, email security is a very crowded space and there's a lot of players there. Do we have an opportunity in that market to play with? So my answer to most of these uh, partners is that um, every single customer of yours has an email security uh, program in play and they already have a renewal budget in play. So you don't have to go and create new budgets on this. It's there every year available to be used. So we just have to prove to them that when is the last time you did uh, a checkup on your email and is your email solution doing what it's supposed to do. As uh, Jesse mentioned, majority of the threats nowadays are coming from email and that's become your main um, doorway for threats. So we need to make sure that is protected. So just to give you an example as uh, the, the total um, market availability or, or the TAM, as they say, total addressable market for email globally um, and going back from 2012 all the way to 2024. Um, so as you can see, this is where the email market space is and how big it is at the moment. So the current or last year was at 3.2. So this year it's between 3.2 billion and 5.5 billion. And most of the uh, partners out there know us or the customers as well know us for our email security solution. So this is the opportunity around that. But what, what they don't know, what we're trying to uh, introduce to our market is that we are much, much bigger than an email security company. So we are Gartner's uh, top performing um, vendors, the leader quadrants in the areas where we play in. So in archiving as well as email security, we've been the most highest rated um, vendor on the leaders or, or part of the leader quadrant, I'd say for the consecutive eight to nine years now. Um, and then moving forward from there, we've now moved to much more bigger uh, platform play with Proofpoint. So as you can see, we play in multiple different areas at the moment. And the opportunity as partners for you guys is huge. Um, and these are uh, the total addressable market that we have positioned on a global basis. And in 2024, we are showing a 19 plus billion opportunity out there for partners working with Proofpoint. So bringing this back home, so if we take um, Australia and New Zealand as the target territory, 
I would say we have about $220 million worth of TAM in the email segments. So that's a big number to deal with, $220 million. Um, and then uh, if you look at the total opportunity for all of Proofpoint products in the local markets here, we have about $572 million worth of opportunities across the customers. So what I want to highlight there is that the opportunity that you have as a partner to work with us and the amount of revenue um, and margin that you can work with us as well. Um, and to top that off with Proofpoint is a 100% channel focused companies. We do not sell to customers directly. So if there's opportunity that's introduced by a partner, we will definitely work with the partner and go to market with them. And any and all opportunities that Proofpoint go and initiate, uh, we would also go back to a partner to transact that opportunity because we don't do that directly uh, through Proofpoint. And from a training and enablement point of view, unlike most other vendors, we believe in training and enabling our partners. So more they know about our product, more they can go and promote it and um, help customers with their needs. So all our training and enablement is absolutely free of charge from the beginner's level up to uh, level three um, admin level training if required. And they're all available through our partner hub process. And on top of that, we also help our partners with lead generation and marketing activities uh, that could be directly with our partners or through our distribution company, Ingram Micro. So we can work through that as we go. So what I want to do next is to just uh, show you an opportunity or, or prospecting tools that we have to try and identify opportunities in the market. I know we're talking about a TAM, it's a big number. I'm sure you guys are asking me, yes, so where is that number? How do I find out where the opportunity is? How do we focus together to go and target those customers? So what we can do from Proofpoint point of view is, is run a simple MX record lookup. I'm sure most of you guys can do it yourself as well by running it on MX toolbox. But what's different from Proofpoint is that we can run this MX record for you, but we can also look back up to five years within a customer. And then we also can look up what DMARC solution they're using and what's the current status with their DMARC usage. Um, so here I've got some sample companies that I put up for um, myself to show you guys to see some opportunities. So if we say randomly pick an organization, say um, let's choose Afterpay, for example. So Afterpay is currently using Google Apps as their email gateway. And prior to Google Apps, they used to have WebSense or Mail Control with them. So the MX records were changed from WebSense to Google on the June 2020, second June 2020. So this means the customer would have purchased this product maybe a couple of months prior to that before the cutover. So uh, we know that Afterpay, or we could um, guess that the Afterpay would have a renewal for Google Apps somewhere in the uh, April, May timeframe. So if you want to work with us to target on Afterpay as an account, maybe that's a good time for them to have a chat on, you know, before the renewal comes on to talk about, have they considered an alternative email solution? Is their email gateway doing what it's supposed to do? Um, the simple question I do ask most of our partners to go ask our customers is that all the customers are required by compliance to do a pen test. Um, on their gateways, but there is no compliance in play at the moment to do a pen test on your email gateway. So in other words, you know, leaving your front door open and then locking up all your windows and all your other doors in the house does not solve your problem, right? We need to have the front door tightly locked. So what we always recommend is, would you like to do a, a health check on your email gateway and Proofpoint can help with that. So I'll, I'll talk to you a bit more on that, the slides which comes further down. So in this scenario with the client profiling tool, what we would recommend for you is if you can identify a few customers that you guys want to focus on. Um, at the moment, together with Proofpoint, we can get this list organized and I, in conjunction with uh, Brett and Dan from Ingram Micro, can run this report for you and help you identify where the opportunities are and which is our low hanging fruits that we can work together to go together to market to try and reach out to those customers. So apart from the profiling tool on that, we also do have uh, other um, uh, methods to try and reach out to customers. So we do, as you know, 
have a product called Wombat, which we bought a, a while ago and which is um, currently on the leader's quadrant in Gartner as well for the past eight to nine years now. We can use this report to do a, a, a security awareness survey for a customer. Uh, it could be known as a mini security awareness survey. We've got about 22 questions we put together and put it out to a customer where what we can look at is the given point of time um, from a customer's point of view, the cyber knowledge of the customer's employees. Um, so when you run this um, survey across them, get the, the employees to fill up the survey and get the information back to us, we could try and analyze and give you a detailed report to take back to the customer on how we support, uh, how, how we can identify the skill levels of their employees. So this particular report was done with another partner. As you can see, this is a white label service. So you could put this up as a service offered by yourselves to your customers and then share this information. And we could run this report and go back and show them where they have issues, where they need to focus on um, what area they need help with. And then that could be a bigger project that we can work together to identify. So again, customers where they're not too sure of their employee skill level, where they are not too sure whether they should go and invest on a full-fledged security awareness training platform, a good way to start off with. So we can do this uh, security awareness survey with those uh, customers if required. Again, this information is available through um, Ingram Micro and us. We can support you to get this up and running. Um, and then uh, the next um, prospecting tool that we can offer is um, uh, more of an in-depth look of their domain name and check with customers if their domains are used for fraudulent activities. So this is an uh, actual uh, report done for a customer, anonymized for this presentation at the moment. So what we looked at with this customer is to identify how much email is this customer sending, which is unauthorized at the moment. So if you look at this particular customer, they're a fairly uh, large customer who's got offices around the world. Um, and we've identified about almost 80,000 of their emails going out at a given time is sent out from unauthorized um, users. So they're not authorized by the organization to send emails on behalf of them. So what we can do here is we do um, highlight this on you know, a simple world map to show where these emails are coming from. So the darker the color means there's more emails coming from those areas than the other areas. So this, this particularly shows on how emails have been going out for this particular customer. And for us to run this report, we don't need to do any changes at the customer end. Uh, this report is done by publicly available information and the information available from Proofpoint servers because we do go through 25% of the global emails at a given day. So we have a lot of information there. So when we presented this particular report to the customer, he had a question asking us, and how come Eastern Europe is highlighted for me? I don't have any email servers or offices out that way. And then when we further dig down to this, we noticed that we had about 1% of their email messages actually being sent out from bad known reputed IP addresses. So 1% of 80,000 comes to close to about 800 emails, right? So this particular customer was getting you know, their brand name spoofed and they're using for business email compromised uh, without their knowledge. So this was a great you know, indication to start off our discussion with the customer and also a great uh, door opener to have a meeting with customers as well. So I know some customers, it's hard to get meetings to get things off, especially the first meetings if you don't have a current relationship, but information like this um, helps us open up to have that discussion and you know, take things forward with those customers. And then finally, what I'd like to um, talk to you about is, is our health check, which I touched on previously. As I said, none of the customers do a full-on compliance check on their email security. What we can offer them is to do a health check on their current email security to check if the solution they have is doing what it's supposed to do. So our health check or security audit, what we do is we basically sit behind the existing email gateway and rescan all the emails which comes through as clean email from the existing gateway. And for us to do this, the setup takes less than 15 minutes. We just mirror the emails while it's going through the organization. We get a copy, so we rescan them. We usually sit behind the customer for about uh, 30 days or four weeks to do this session. Um, but every time we sit there for about um, 30 days or less, um, 
we do get very good results to show the customer what's been missed by the existing email security provider. So 90% of the time when we run this particular health check, it turns into an opportunity for us to become a sale. So every 10 times we do an op, uh, a health check out there with customers, nine of them will turn into a sale. So that's where the opportunities are with Proofpoint. And most of the customers, when you run this for a 30-day session, we have customers come back and say within two weeks saying, could we sign up an NDA and you know put your product live in front because I'm just worried about how much information is coming through for my existing gateway. So just to show you some samples of our reports when we do this kind of um, health check, uh, we can identify things like who are the most attacked people in an organization by name by integrating the Active Directory into this and show them who, who's been mainly attacked. Apart from who has been mainly attacked, we're also showing them on what are they attacked with what kind of um, uh, malicious emails are attacking, if it's a malware, it's a ransomware, it's a credential phishing, you know, into so much detail about who's being attacked. Apart from that, when we do a scanning, this is an example of an organization where we had, this is a very large organization um, at the moment, so this, this uh, organization gets about 148 million emails come through from the previous um, or the current email security solution they run. So this is deemed the clean emails that come through to the organization. So once Proofpoint scans their email for the second time, we actually drop off so much emails and only send through as clean email of close to 30 million. So as you can see, we're dropping almost four times the emails and then sending only the clean emails through the differentiation from Proofpoint efficacy as opposed to other products out there in the market customers do find it very surprising and you know and and show us and be very uh, uh, thankful for what what we've done to show them the difference here and how much of the emails which come through to them are actually malicious and then finally on the report we actually give them details about you know what kind of threats are de detected within the organization how much of that was spam how much of them were actually phishing attacks going in so just keep in mind these attacks i'm showing here was clean uh, based on their previous email security solution said there's nothing as such there's no attacks they're all clean email and we sitting behind them have caught all this information as i said we can give you details about who's mainly attacked the organization and vips as well as uh, general office workers in that and also show on which is the main uh, Im impactful threat which targets those organizations Um, yeah, so and that to finish off, we just wanted to uh, share you a bit about our partner program. So with Proofpoint, we have three levels of partnership, which is um, silver, gold, and platinum, just the precious metals we work through. Um, so for us to work on these, we have minimum requirements to reach these levels. So um, technical and sales training is, is part of the process. As you can see, it, it increases as the partner level goes up. Um, revenue um, is considered crucial as well on to get to different partner levels and then apart from just the revenue we want to make sure the transactions the number of business for example you can't do a single transaction for 250k and get to a gold partner status even though we say 250k is a gate to get to a gold partnership we need to be getting that within five different opportunities so we want you to invest with us and work together out in the market and the final slide I want to touch today is from the presentation point of view is our deal reg opportunities. Proofpoint recognizes opportunities bought to us by our partners. So if you are uh, even a silver level partner and bring us an opportunity um, and we have a platinum level partner in play with us, we'll still give a specific price advantage for the silver partner over the platinum partner. Um, for example, here, and if you are a silver partner, brings us opportunity and we have that deal rich, we'll give you a 35% discount, where as opposed to a platinum partner would only get a 15% discount. So that in turn gives you a 20 points price advantage over your competition. So at Proofpoint, 
the minimum price advantage you'd get is 20 can work up to 35 percent that is if you're a platinum partner working against a silver partner so that's how we support our partners and make sure that any opportunities that you guys bring in we will help you to make uh, be a joint winner and we'll support you and there's a lot more um, margin and profitability your business can get by working with Proofpoint. So to uh, move further, just looking at the time as well, I think we had some time segmented for Q&A to go with um, Brett if there was any, but I think uh, based on the time, let's maybe just jump straight into the Kahoot quiz, Brett, and then come back to the Q&A based on our time availability. Yeah, no, that, that sounds good with me. So uh, as uh, mentioned at the start, you know, this is a great uh, time to make sure that you do have Kahoot on your phone. Or if you are one of those lucky individuals who do have several screens, you can also bring up uh, another browser with Kahoot.it on there. Uh, now, if you haven't done this before, well, it's fairly simple. There'll be a bunch of questions uh, shown on your device, uh, well, sorry, shown on your screen here, and you'll be able to answer the, uh, give the answers on your device or on the other screen if you've got to open on both. Um, now, uh, with those instructions, I should pass it to Sonia to be able to uh, take over. Awesome, thank you, Brett. Um, let me just share my screen. And I don't know if um, anyone's played this before. Can you see my screen on the Kahoot? Um, oh, yep, now we can. Yeah, okay. So I don't know if anyone's done it before, but all you need to do is put kahoot.it and you should get um, kind of this interface here with the game pin and you just need to put in there 504786 um, and just your name and then your names will kind of pop up here oh let me win that must be <laughs> you jesse and, and so we have one Whilst we're so waiting we for people to, uh, to, uh, to load up, um, and basically oh. there'll be about five different uh, questions to get in. No, and basically the, the person who comes first will win an All-Stars basketball pack. And now that includes a Spalding basketball, uh, basketball uh, bag, um, a, a whole bunch of kit, um, for really playing with a the basketball theme. Uh, for those who come second and third, we're also giving away uh, Proofpoint rep kits, and that includes a coffee flask, a notebook, and also uh, a Proofpoint uh, bottle opener key ring. And so that uh, will come to second and third. Now, if you're one of those first 10 who registered and attended today, you'll get that anyway, but hey, the more the merrier, right? Absolutely. All right, I've got eight. Um, I really want everyone um so should i just okay i did do a fun question at the start so i think people can still um join if they want to i won't lock it um so the first one's just a fun one So it's all time-based. So the first question is, what is the name of the Proofpoint Partner Program? Is it A, all cars, B, all stars, C, all moons, or all people, D, all green? So you just need to pop in those, your answer, and you've got three seconds. Sounds hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, Awesome. That was good. That was a good test. So should we start the real game? Yeah, we might as well. Okay. And feel free to um, chime in, Jesse and Marash, because I know you've got some um, commentary around the questions. Ooh, so DG, well done. Speed and knowledge. So the next question is, According to Gartner and Ver Verizon DBIR report, 
Something Solutions is where most organisations spend most of their security budget, even though over 85% of breaches are attacks targeting people via something. So there's two answers here. So please choose. Oh, do you think it's enough time? I feel like <laughs> I, I think that's a lot of question. time. <laughs> that was a longer question though, by the time you read it. All right. Oh, I can't even say the question that fast. Um, all it's right. okay. We'll take the next two and see who who gets lucky. Yeah. So, did you want to elaborate on that, Jesse, or to the next one? Yeah, sure. I can elaborate on that one. So, um, that question is about, you know, according to the Gartner and the Verizon report, what solution is where most organizations spend most of their security budget? So, as I said. Uh, Network is the solution where, you know, most of the organizations spend most of their security budget. And even though, as per the Verizon report, 85% of the breaches are attacks that's targeting people via email. So the right answer is network and email. Well done. Let's see who got that right. We've got one person that got it very fast. Oh, my God. Very <laughs> fast. Yeah. Go. Okay, next question. I might not have time to read it. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, there we Leave go. on the screen for the right, partner to read it. Question. Do it quickly. Ready? Go. True or false? Okay. True or false? VAPs are always VIPs. Ooh, 50-50. Interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good job. Would you guys like to speak to that? Yeah, sure. So WAP, as you guys are right, it stands for very attacked people. It also stands for actually vulnerability, attack, and privilege. So at proof point, we can provide, you know, uh, with customers with quantifiable insights into who's likely to fall for threats and who gets targeted by serious threats and who represents risk to your organization. So good job. Awesome. Okay, let's see who got that. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! New leaderboard winner, SS. Okay, next question. Um, all right, I've got two more questions. Sorry. So this is a quiz. Oh, double points. This one. Proof point. People centric security platform includes one of these answers. At least there's plenty of time on this. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh, only one person. That was double that was, point. Mm. Wow, that was hard. All right, do you want to see the results or do you want to talk about this, Jesse? Or, oh my, oh, oh, new leader, Adam. This is changing. Well done. Amazing. Yeah. There's no dominance here. This is just a free for all. So, just a, yeah, just yeah, a, sure. a little back, background on it. So, Proofpoint uh, people centric security platform includes DLP, CASB, archiving, content capture, um, zero trust network access, as you remember that wheel that I went through. Um, and all of these are part of the Proofpoint people centric security platform. So good job. Awesome. All right, last question, guys. It's a quiz. With which ecosystem vendors does Proofpoint integrate seamlessly? Triangle, diamond, circle, square. That was a separate slide by itself, guys. <laughs> Let's see the answers. Oh, two. Oh, I can say this is a big reveal. Who's going to win the amazing Drum roll, stuff. please. Oh, drum roll. Oh, podium. Oh, well SS. Third place. Oh, Adam, well done. Adam. Oh, who's one? One E. Oh, Adam. Oh. Adam's uh, on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. 
so if um so what will happen here is basically to put a basketball kit where well, that will should be able to get out uh, fairly soon um as well as well as a proof point uh, goodies uh for second and third however just a heads up because we are in lockdown some of this will there may be a slight delay until people can go back to the office to send things yep um we'll be in touch with the winners and we'll send out the um appropriate merch and swag uh, so I really appreciate you being part of the uh, quiz. That was fun. Back to you guys. Yep. Um, and Marash, what would oh, you like sorry. to do from here? Do you want me to go back to you or do you want to do q and um, Just looking at the time, guys, we're on top of the hour. I'm not too sure if yep. anyone's... Oh, yeah, sorry. That back, was too guys, I've been answering some of the cues on the chat as we go. So if you missed any, we'll uh, come back to them. Like yeah, so we'll be sharing the slides um, and the recording of the webinar, and we'll do a FAQ on anything that we that was addressed that we might have missed. Yep, and we'll get that sent out to all the attendees. Thank you so very much for joining us, and uh, hope to see you on the next webinar in a few in a six weeks time. Lovely. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.